do you have a beautiful life? And maybe you do, but would you like to add even more beauty to your life or start to create uh, a life that just surrounds you in beauty? If so, I'm going to invite you to these four qualities that you need in your life to start to generate an intensity of beauty, a beautiful living. So number one quality is aesthetics. Aesthetics is the willingness to have the pleasure and the beauty of every moment. Um, It's a willingness to see the beauty in every moment. And it's the willingness to surround yourself with that which is beautiful to you. So look around, look around your home, your office. Are you surrounded by things that you find beautiful? Are you surrounded by things that are aesthetically pleasing and pleasurable for you to look at? When you go outside, when you um, engage with the earth, are you acknowledging the beauty of the earth? Are you willing to receive the beauty of it? And let's not forget the body because there's so much beauty to bodies and are you acknowledging the beauty of your own aesthetic (laughs) and willing to receive from that and receive from the beauty of the aesthetics of people around you number two decadence i don't know why but i always think of like a really delicious chocolate cake (laughs) when i hear the word decadence And decadence is the willingness to take whatever you want and leave the rest. So were you ever told, even if you have a meal to finish everything on your plate, that you had to to take everything and not just taking what you want and leaving the rest? Where you had no need to hold on to anything and everything? but you could receive everything and anything. It is the ability to waste. And I know for me personally, that was a really difficult one. Grew up very poor and wasting was not an option. I see it still playing in my life, but I catch it. I catch it when I'm going into that type of mindset because decadence is really that willingness, which doesn't mean that you're wasteful and that you're always wasting things, but a willingness. Are you willing to um, take food and put it into the garbage if your body doesn't want to eat it? Or do you force your body to eat it? Almost kind of turning your body into a garbage can. Mm. Uh, Decadence is the willingness to take what you want and leave the rest. And this can play with food. This can play out in, in your home, um, in your life in so many ways. So look for those places where you could add more decadence, more of the energy of decadence and that willingness to have the things that are really pleasurable and really wonderful to you and not Feed into the belief that you have to just take everything that you get. Number three is hedonism. Hedonism is the recognition that pleasure is the joy of living. So how often do you actually do something just for the pleasure of it? not for the results, not because you have to, but really, truly choosing, I'm going to do this just because it's pleasurable for me. I'm going to buy this, whatever, just because it's pleasurable for me. I'm going to eat this just because it's pleasurable for me. When you're willing to live your life from a hedonistic pleasure place, your life begins to work in a way that it never has before because you are actually starting to live from the joy of it, not for what you have to accomplish, not what you have to do, not for your purpose, not for work, 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 do, 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 do. You actually start to create a life that was that is based on pleasure. 
Woo! So when you add this quality to your life, you can actually even make a list of what are all the things I do in a day that um, have nothing to do with pleasure or the joy of living. How many of those things can I cross off my list? And then how many things can you add to your day that have that hedonism, that hedonistic quality just for the pleasure of it, just for the pleasure of it. And I often have the visual of um, a feline, like a cat. And you see, cats seem to me to be very, very pleasure seeking animals. They will just receive and receive and you can never touch them enough that's not all cats. Some cats don't like to be touched, but you know, the cats I'm talking about and they purr and they're just in, in this joy and this pleasure, even when they walk and they move their body, there's a sense of the pleasure of moving their body. How many of us, when we go to work out, do exercise, we're doing it for the result of, I need to stay fit. I need to build muscle. I need to lean out. What about just doing it for the pleasure? Would your workout session be very different if you did it from that hedonistic feline (laughs) place? Imagine every time you ate, you were just eating for the pleasure of it. Imagine every time you moved your body, you were moving it for the pleasure of it. Very different type of living. Number four, elegant. Elegance is the willingness to use the least amount of energy to create the greatest effect. So you might see people that they walk with elegance. They sit with elegance. They speak elegantly. They dress elegantly. And I always wondered, what what is that energy? When I came across this description of elegance, it energetically was so clear to me. It's that the least amount of energy to get the greatest effect. Do you have an elegant life? Do you have a difficult life? Do you spend a lot of energy to create an effect, a result? How many hours do you spend um, working at home, even when you get up and get ready in the morning, is it from a huge amount of energy to create an effect? Are you willing to have the elegance of it, the least amount of energy to create the greatest effect? Invite these four qualities into your life. I dare you. (laughs) You might already have some But what if you could have all four? And what if you could grow and grow and grow and grow these energies to create that living, um, that, that living of intense beauty, that living of pleasure, that totally different way of being in the world than most people are actually willing to have. Let me know how it was for you. Let me know if you any of this was new information. I would love to hear in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you had any little aha moments. Oh, that's what elegance is. Oh, that's what decadence is. And I would just love to hear from you. And please feel free to subscribe and share this with anyone that you think might enjoy it, might get some pleasure from it. <laughs>